Hello everyone, welcome to the summary Minecraft video that we do every week. Again, it's the very last minute, so anything that anyone's done in between has been done. Um, which is honestly just a heckin' lot of quests. Um, last week I basically focused on bees, which did involve a little bit of digging underground. Um, for example, I extended this world famous passageway um, all the way up to here, which is where I'm keeping my bees. Now. I don't really have a lot to say today because I basically told you last week what bees were about, right? Um, you have this portable analyzer here in which you put a bee. Well, now it tells you about the bee. Now, basically what's happened is we have now been building bees. I built a lot of these by accident because I thought that I was building an alveary, which is this one, alveary. Um, now this is a multi-block structure and you can put bits in it right and these see the the fan here um increases the heater increases the temperature the fan i believe decreases the temperature the high grow regulator changes the swampiness of the biome etc etc right so there's all these things and which allows you to create an alveary which is appropriate to the biome that the bee wants to be in uh i forget exactly what each individual piece does um the alveary lighting tricks bees into thinking it's daylight at night, then. so the bees have to, they, they don't work at night. Um, all very well and good. I wasn't making that. <laughs> I was making these. These are individual bee, individual bee boxes. So over here I've just got the uh, very boring, sort of the common bees that you find, one of which is literally called uh, common. We've got common and common. So I've been breeding them together, and all you do is you take, let's say for example, you wanted to take a, a meadows and a common drone. I'll show you. Let's have a look at what this drone is, this princess is first. Uh, it's meadows and common, which is why it says ignoble stock. It's not a purebred meadows or common. But if you breed these together, as you rem possibly recall, um, forest and meadows makes common. Okay, fine. Uh, but meadows and tropical. Meadows and meadow, common and meadows can produce cultivated. Now it says common princess and meadows drone. I'm not sure if it has to be that way around, um, but then we'll end up with cultivated. I don't think we have any cultivated. Meadows and forest makes leperine at 10%. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over again until we get the new type of bee. And if we get the new type of bee in here, then we try and make more of it. The, uh, it's standard breeding is the old fashioned way of doing it. Uh, my bee is still in here. Get out. I'm going to put this bee in here. And so what you do is you take this and I've got a meadows and can make a meadows and a meadows. We did decide meadows and common can get you something. So what did it, what did it say? Uh, meadows. So if we have a look at the uses of a meadow princess, not many I can. So meadows and forest is leporine. So what we got in here, uh, we've got common and common, too many common drones. These don't even stack look because they're, they're not the same even though we don't know what they are, which is new. Um, meadows common, common. We've got lots of things in here. We've got an unusual and a common. We've got a cultivated. We actually won a cultivated, which is great. So we want to make another one of these. So we should put this in a chest, really. Uh, I made a meadows queen here. Um, this was. I just put something in to see what happened. <laughs> and this happened. Um, and we've got an unusual there. A forest. That's what we wanted, right? Uh, eh, 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 eh. This button, please. This button. Meadows plus Meadows Princess plus Forest Drone might equal Leporine, whatever the heck that means. So I've got a Meadows Princess and a Forest Drone. We're going to put those in there. They're going to breathe, and it's going to say, boo-hoo, it's night time. So we're going to go and sleep, and I'll be back in a tick. Now, recall I said that one of the things that you can do with bees is to breed trees together. So if there are trees nearby, then there's a chance that the bees will cross-pollinate them and turn them into other trees, um, which is why I've sort of planted right back over here. I'm hoping that we can maybe push the boundary away a bit, but there's also all this space to plant trees. Um, and this is just a sort of a, a place that I put together for, for the heck of it, really. Um, I accidentally, I forgot that you they have to see the sky, so I can't actually put these bees here. So when they're done, are they done? Yeah, so we can probably just uh, get rid of these. Because um, I would want to, of course, have a third. I'm building this. I'm halfway through, I ran out of stuff, and then I went to bed. Um, so these can't not see the sky, so we have to do things like that. Um, right, so now this will be active. We got a Meadows Queen, which is a shame. <laughs> it's not what we wanted. 
we can press this button and we can go straight to the analyzer without having to do anything. I think it has cost me one honey drop just by pressing that button, but that's okay. Uh, so we've got the meadows, blah, blah, blah. So what you can possibly do is set up on each one of these a little loop of item ducts. In fact, maybe I'll do that now, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do anyway. Set up a loop of item ducts and it'll pull out all the drones, all the princesses and all the honeycombs. And it will send all of them away except for one princess and one drone. But what I can do is I can say I want it to be the meadows princess and a forest drone. Right, so that you basically you better give me a meadows princess or this thing's going to stop working. And I'll put those back into it and breed them again and over and over again. And then if I get uh, a Leppy Watts name uh, drone, That'll fly all the way back down to the chest and I can have a look in the chest. So let's see if I can set up something approximately similar to that off camera right now. Back in a tick. So I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. I put a filter on here. It has forest drone and the meadows princess in it. Now you'll notice the problem straight away is that these have got MBT data, which is so they're ignoble stock, unknown genome. Because they, they won't stack with anything else, it's, there's a good chance that whatever is produced by this will simply not match. Um, and therefore everything will go in there, which is fine because there's other things with filters on that we can do this with. Uh, but I honestly thought maybe, um, maybe it's the, maybe you need a, a hardened filter. Yeah, items, metadata. Metadata, NBT or dictionary. So, Possibly we need a reinforced filter. Possibly we need a hardened filter. I guess we'll find out. Um, but the only thing we haven't done there then is to put a server one here. Put uh, ignored red star. Please don't pull the queen out. That would be a problem. Looks like that is not happening. So I'm pretty sure you can pull stuff out of here. Um, the other thing that will be pulled out, I've put them in this chest temporarily. Um, I've set up another chest as well. I probably don't need that. I have got a chest over here that's already chock full of bees. And there is a way of recycling bees, but we haven't got onto that yet, so I won't spoil this just yet. Um, but you can see that we've got all this stuff, right? Which is no, no good at all. We've got all this stuff. Now, I think I showed us, I think I showed the, the spinning of honeycombs last time. Now, what I realized, and I'm, I'm not even sure if this is how this works, but when you put a single comb in the centrifuge, it starts spinning, okay? And then what happens is the centrifuge, the comb goes boop, like that. And now it's happening, okay, now it's spinning again. So, stop that. <laughs> Snowball, okay. So the weird thing was that one of the honeycombs that I had, one of the combs that I was using, it did that first one, and then when it was in here, it said, uh, missing resources. And then I put another one. It might have been a display issue, actually, now that I think about it. Um, whereby what basically happened was it had the comb was in here, so it had done the first level of spin, and then it had stopped here and gone, what, what do you expect from me? And then I put another honeycomb in, and it completed the first one. I'm not sure if maybe some of them have that restriction. Like you have to do, uh, I have to have a second one with which to spin it in order to get something out of it. But I don't think that doesn't really make sense, you know? Um, but, oh yeah, and I think basically, uh, sometimes they don't get used, so you can, they can keep being centrifuged until they break. Crystalline pollen cluster, that's pretty cool. Let's see what that's used for. Uh, very much, Bruin, gives you a regeneration potion. Uh, iodine capsule, using a rainmaker to make it rain. Mixer and you get potion of okay, so it can make potions of regeneration, which is not actually non. This is reasonably valuable. You can get bees, of course, which uh, makes bee things, which is cool, uh, and a wax cast. What's that going to be used for? You can enchant it. <laughs> um, I think that is probably a. a you know, a component in something, but I have no idea what that's for, so I guess we'll find out one day. Now, so that's the centrifuge, we've seen the centrifuge. The squeezer is just making me a little bit of seed oil. The seed oil went into making a lot of these. It turns out I didn't need that many. Uh, also over here I have more bees, and these ones are just sort of behaving themselves. These are the ones that are 
I haven't put any bees in it. <laughs> in theory, these are the ones to maintain stock. So uh, with this, we get genetic decay of a much less genetic decay. And on this one, we get longer lifespan and lower mutation and very tiny genetic decay, which as far as I understand, <laughs> means that you're going to keep producing the same bee. You've got a much higher chance of producing the same bee and not accidentally producing a different type of bee. So in this one, I can just keep recycling the bees that will fit, putting drones in and a princess in and getting more and more of the types of bees. So once I've got a type of bee that I want, I can try and produce a, a purer line of it in this area. But I haven't bothered doing that just yet. How are we getting on over here? Nothing has happened at all. Yeah, so we've got a forest princess and a, a forest forest princess didn't expect that but the the forest drone did not match the forest drone i didn't expect to get a forest princess out of that <laughs> that's a bother well i've got a meadows princess here so you can have that because uh, i'm trying to make a new one and it's not helpful that you've done that so make more bees please anyway that's bees we'll plant trees nearby them soon we'll probably start making the alvearies so that we can control the climate don't really have anything else to say um, except that we need to improve that, and of course we don't need this many bees, so maybe we should start recycling them at some point. And uh, I've got a bit of a place to build up as well. You know, it's only, it's only half of a build, but and there's a grafter as well. And now, if you want to use a grafter, guarantees a sapling drop when breaking forestry leaves. So basically, when the tree changes colour, when the leaf, you don't. You're not certain to get a sapling when you break the leaf that has been cross-pollinated by bees unless you use this. And then, voila, you've got the thing in this one. So that's going to be how we get it. Uh, they should be easy to make, by the way, yeah. They're not expensive. So for one piece of bronze, you get 10 guaranteed. Um, but, uh, saplings from your bee experiments. Now, there's other types of bees that I haven't played with yet. We've got winter bees. There's obviously a water hive in there. Um, so we're going to have to figure out what watery bees do. Uh, the oblivion wad is for the end. So I'm going to go in the end and put something there. Um, I believe that you can mimic any biome that you want to with an alveary, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll be playing more bees. Uh, so until probably tomorrow or today depending on when you're watching this and probably in the past most likely depending uh, for those of you who have just found this video i'm going to or already will have done that so watch the next video to see what happened or join me on the screen scream stream to find out mind you last week i didn't stream this i recorded it and I was going to upload a video of it, but I've recorded this instead. <laughs> so uh, I literally just remembered that. So welcome to my brain. Uh, I'll see you tonight and uh, tomorrow night or tonight or in the past. And hopefully that I will be able to stream and not crash. But we shall see anyway. Bloviating aside. See you later. Bye.